Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday, March 16th. All of a sudden my kids don't want to keep up with the calendar now that nobody's birthday is coming up. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, I didn't vlog at all this past week. It's just been hectic. If you've ever been in a car wreck or had to deal with one, you know there's a lot of aftermath things that you have to deal with and go through. So I just didn't vlog. So I figured I'd give you guys a weekend vlog, but I can't promise you it's going to be cool and fun or anything like that. Uh, today, I just did some work for TikTok. Um, I'm sure y'all are tired of hearing that over here. But um, when over here starts paying like over there, I'll start talking about over here more. And um, this is YouTube. <laughs> That's but... Um, Right now, I am going to do my nails. Um, I'm going through an acrylic phase also. I know in my last vlog, I did my nails. I did them on a Friday. The wreck happened on Saturday. And I was just so stressed out, I ripped them off, all of them off by Monday night. So, y'all remember my long, pretty, natural nails I was growing because of this pregnancy? They no longer exist. So, um, can't be mad at nobody but myself. Now the thing is, is just, I bought these. None of these were more expensive than $7, which I still think is a lot cheaper than going and paying a hundred bucks for some cute nails at a nail salon. And had I not ripped my nails off, they probably would have lasted a whole week or two. So also I wanted to try a new glue, a press on glue. Cause y'all know like the squeezy glue, no matter how careful you try to be with the squeezy glue, it like, it just gets everywhere and then your nail your fingers are all crusty and all kinds of stuff so i have these ones i'm really leaning towards these ones they just make me happy when i look at them i like little smiley face daisies i think they're really cute and then i have these ones that are just like cherry blossom flowers that's what those are called right cherry blossom flowers I always see it on I always see these flowers on packaging for scents that are cherry blossoms. So I'm assuming those are cherry blossom flowers. But I have those that also make me happy. And then I just have two basic pairs. Um obviously these are all the new ones that I have because I have a ton in my nail box, but I don't want to use any of those. I have this set here. These ones I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be comfortable with these ones because they're looking a little long even though i got medium but i was like you know what let me just let me just try a medium for whenever you know i'm feeling like that girl i don't know if i'm ever gonna be that girl but we, we could try it i know i can't go no longer than medium for sure but my natural nails were about that long before i ripped them off so i was like maybe i'll like it and then i got these ones these were actually a replacement from walmart these were supposed to be like the same shade but coffin shape instead i got the square shape but i was like and yeah, that's fine if i really want the coffin shape that bad i can just file these so i still have nail glue on my nails so i'm gonna lightly file them with my little nail filer thing and then put them all on That's how the nails came out. So cute. Having some pizzas in the oven for me. These are what I'm about to snack on until the pizza's ready. We're watching some true crime. And I just finished getting the boys' lunch ready. That's how football works. You can either keep playing or come inside and quit. What? Why smell like fish? Baby, throw the ball. You outside, it's gonna smell like all kinds of things. Hey you guys, I'm sorry. I know this vlog was lame. I told y'all it'd probably be lame. We probably weren't gonna do anything. I kind of tell Brian just kind of doesn't be in vehicles that much right now, which is understandable, so I'm not forcing him to be. 
he is now outside with the boys playing football. I did do get a little Amazon package in today. Uh, some of it's for baby EJ. Some of it's for my postpartum bag. So I just thought I would show you guys. And then I'm about to do my Sunday night um, shower routine. Okay, so first things first. Um, my friend Tiandra put me onto these. But I figured that she's not pregnant or postpartum or anything. But I thought that these briefs would be perfect for postpartum since I have a C-section. So I got two packs of those. I can't wait to put them on. I'm actually going to wear a pair for bed tonight under a big t-shirt. And then um, I got these C-section scarf patches. And I got this set of hats and gloves. So for each hat, there's a matching set of gloves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten and ten, ten gloves, ten hats. And then uh, I had to order this book for the library because Bryson checked out this book and just ripped it apart. And so I already knew that I was going to have to replace it. So I just went ahead and ordered the replacement for whenever we go this Thursday. So, yeah. Um, he's actually running drills with them. Ready, go. Bryson, cut the attitude and do it again. Come on. Ready, go. Like I told Ethan, quit running away from the ball. You gotta come to the ball, throw it. Come to the ball, do it again. Bryson is Ready, just like his go. mama. He hates to be bad at something. There you go. Come on, Ken. Show him how it's done. No, right at the dirt spot again, remember? Show him how it's done, King. Show him how it's done, King. Ready? Go. Oh. Come to the so dinner is on the way. I ordered Burger King because Raquel Snapchatted me talking about Burger King. And now I want Burger King, but. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and start my Sunday night shower. Cause I gotta shave and I do all like hair washing. I do the deep conditioning. This is what the baby bump is looking like at 33 weeks. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I might just that way I can get a vlog up next week, but we shall see. Or I could just vlog like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week and then get it up but I don't know we'll see I feel like me not vlogging at all this past week just threw everything off if I do upload this one it'll just be a really short vlog hey guys so I decided to go ahead and do a voiceover on this part of the video just because this part of the video ended up being 20 minutes long I was really hoping it would be a little bit shorter but it wasn't so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do a little voiceover on this part of the video so when I do wake up, I try to do a couple of chores before I get ready. So one of the main things that I'm always going to do is start the essential oil diffusers. And then after that, I'm also making my homemade um, carpet freshener. It's just baking soda and any kind of essential oils that you want, whatever scents you want. And then you just shake it up, make sure there's no big clumps just to go ahead and distribute that scent evenly. So I don't know if you could tell, but whenever I was doing the essential oil diffusers, I had to use the bathroom really, really bad. And once I go into the bathroom, I'm like, I'm not leaving here, at least until I get dressed. So I did go ahead and get dressed for the day and get decent. And what we're gonna start with is distributing the carpet freshener around the house. I always start with the living room. I like to leave the baking soda in the carpet for a little bit just to kill germs and really get that, uh, the, what is it called? Like, get rid of any odors that may be sticking. I know that sounds like, oh, her house stinks, but it's just the reality of things. I can't always keep my kids from not wearing their shoes through the house and things like that, no matter how hard I try. So I like to leave the baking soda sitting in the carpet for a good little minute while I do all the other chores and then vacuuming will be my last chore for the day. So I do actually go throughout all of the rooms, but the only rooms you will actually be seeing me do the baking soda and the vacuuming in is my master bedroom and my living room. So 
since this is Monday, I am gonna go ahead and clean the table. I really try to take it easy on the weekends, especially on weekends that Brian has off, just because I really try to spend all that time with him. So a lot of my cleaning routines don't get done on the weekends. So even though this is a Monday morning, I did go ahead and start by wiping down the table and just making sure that it was, you know, crumb free, dirt free, smudge free. And we're just knocking everything onto the floor to go ahead and prep these floors for cleaning. Okay, so first of all, I love these rugs. I do have them linked on my Amazon storefront or if you follow me on TikTok, you can find them in my showcase. But these are the Montvu washable rugs. They're really easy to clean. This spot right here that I'm cleaning, I, it looked like the boys just dropped a whole burger and the mustard got everywhere. So I just took a little bit of soap on a sponge and went ahead and cleaned that up. And then like I said, we're gonna go ahead and vacuum and get all the crumbs up because vacuuming is something that I definitely do maybe once over the weekend and it, this definitely needs to be done one to two times a day. Once I am done with the dining room area, we're gonna go ahead and move into the kitchen and I'm kind of doing doing the same method. We're wiping down off the countertops, we're wiping some of the appliances off, knocking all the crumbs onto the floor, you know, loading the dishwasher, just little things like that. The dishes are something that I do try to keep up with over the weekend, so no dirty dishes are sitting in the sink. They're going directly into the dishwasher. If it gets full, we start it, it gets put up, and we just start that over again. That is one thing that I cannot stand. I just feel like it brings odors, it brings bugs, and it just, I don't know, I, I can't deal with the sink full of dishes. So yeah, that is one thing that I do make sure to keep up with over the weekend, but other than that, like I said, I'm not really giving any parts of my house a good wipe down other than Monday through Friday. So yeah, once we're done wiping off the counters and the appliances, it's time to go ahead and start cleaning the floors in the kitchen. So once we are done with the kitchen, I don't know if you guys were are ever able to tell, but my laundry room is right off of the kitchen. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the laundry room. It, Mondays are my laundry day for my husband and myself. I used to do one load a day until I was able to keep up with the routine like this. I used to get so behind on laundry and then I would spend an entire day doing laundry. So I did decide to go ahead and like, I got myself doing the one load a day to get rid of my Mount Rushmore of laundry. And once I did that, I started doing, I set days for each thing. So on the weekends, towels get washed and on Fridays, the boys clothes get washed and Mondays is for Brian and I. And things like um, throw blankets, comforter sheets, they'll get washed on some random day between Tuesday and Thursday. And once I'm done going ahead and getting my laundry done, we're gonna go ahead and clean off the washer and the dryer. So the dryer just gets really dirty because I keep this window open that's right in front of it because our dog stays in the laundry room. Like that's where he sleeps and stuff and comes inside when it's raining. And I just don't ever want it to, I don't ever want my house to smell like I have a pet. Like I want you to come to my house and not even know that I have a pet. And then the other one, the boys just tend to make a mess with the OxyClean and the scent beads. And so that one just needed to be cleaned up and then we're just going to go ahead and clean the floors in here as well.
once I'm done in the laundry room, I am gonna go ahead and just vacuum all the areas that haven't been vacuumed that need to be, I'm gonna power mop. I'm not gonna go ahead and do like the manual mop. So I vacuumed the, the hallway, both bathrooms, and I do end up vacuuming the entryway. And the reason I decided to power mop this week is just, is just because carrying around the gallon or the mop bucket is just getting to be a little too much. And then if I do that, I'm gonna feel like I have to mop the walls because my brain doesn't know how to tell me to not do stuff whenever it's in the routine of doing something. And usually when I pull out the mop bucket, I clean the walls. So that's, it's like muscle memory. And so to just take it easy on myself um, from time to time, I'll just power mop the house with my Swiffer Power Mop, which is actually really good. I really like it. It is worth the price. I don't buy the refills all the time. I'll just refill it with my own cleaner at home because if you work really hard, you can pop the top off and refill those containers with your own cleaner. I would have to say this is my least favorite area to mop like this this area is just so discouraging this is where the dog comes in this is where the boys come in from playing outside so it doesn't matter how often I I would have to clean this area every hour just in order for it to stay clean but I do go ahead and clean it but I would say this is the most discouraging part of my house to clean for the floors Once I start kind of finishing up like the major chores that needed to be done, I do go ahead and get the boys started on homeschool no matter what day it is. I will lead, I will sit them down, show them where they need to start, show them what work they need to do. On this particular day, it was a Monday, so I needed to reset their chore chart. So that's what I'm just doing right now is cleaning this off. And then Mondays are for Bible study. So I did go ahead and also clean off our weekly Bible study little dry erase paper board, whatever you want to call it. It's more like an a laminated paper and then I will go ahead and get their little Bible coloring sheets printed out. So a lot of this part is just me going ahead and getting them set up for the week when it comes to their Bible work and making sure they have their work for the week and their chore chart is ready to go so they can get up and look at it every morning and check their task off as they go. That has been a game changer. They are able to look at it, read it, remember what they need to do and then it should get to where I don't have to get up frustrated and have to tell them, have you done this? Have you done that? And you'll, you kind of hear it in this video that sometimes they just, they, they just don't always do what they need to do even though it's written, but this has helped a lot. So 
so once all of the school stuff is set up and the boys are started, I do continue back onto my chores. As I was getting school work and things prepped and ready, the, the washer did end up being done, so I go ahead and switch, switch the load over to the dryer and start my last load. I don't separate into three, three sections like whites, lights, darks. I just do darks and lights and the whites go in with the lights and then I use OxyClean White Revive and that, seem to keep, that seems to keep our whites pretty white. So, but I have to be very particular with what colors I allow to go into the lights and white um, basket. But yeah, that's all I'm doing here is gonna go ahead and switch the loads and then we're gonna move on to vacuuming the house. So for my last chore of the day, we do go ahead and head into vacuuming. I like to start in my bedroom and then like back my way out into the living room and then I'll go into the living room and then I will go into the rest of the house, which like I showed you guys, the entire house gets vacuumed, the entire house gets um, baking soda thrown down onto the carpet. So this is just something that I do anytime I vacuum the house. I like to vacuum all rooms that need to be vacuumed, which in my house is, I believe, five areas. So four bedrooms and then the living room. All right, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed that little home reset I threw in this vlog for today, which is Monday. Um, boys are done with school. I'm currently getting them some leftovers ready. They're having leftover short ribs with corn and mashed potatoes. And then I am warming up. Um, I'm gonna make me these pizzas in my new little wonder oven. So you can air fry, bake, toast, roast, Oh, it actually has a reheat button. I didn't notice that or broil in this. And you can also steam. I don't know how to steam because I don't see steam over here, but you just add water to the top and then you can steam. I'm gonna leave this in my Amazon storefront. 
obviously I got it from TikTok shop, but it's, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to get rid of our uh, microwave forever. And um, I just needed something to replace it that was small like a microwave to where I wouldn't have to turn on the oven. And also I feel like this is going to be awesome during the summer when I don't want to turn on the oven and make it super hot in my house. We just have this little one right here. I reference it as the adult easy bake oven. So yeah, I'm actually hurting. I'm gonna sit down. I got a lot of things to get done this week. I wanna go ahead and get my read and write the word done for April and May because I'll be having baby at the, the first week of May, end of April. We just, we're not sure, baby could always come earlier. So I wanna get that done. I wanna go ahead and try and get the boys schoolwork printed out and together for April and May. Um, so I think I need, I'll do the math, but um, I'll need five weeks worth of work. That's 15 packets per kid. So about, what's 15 times four? 60, right? 15 times four is probably 60. So that's about 60 packets I gotta get done. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I wanna thank you guys for bearing with me, hanging out with me. There will be more vlogs to come from this week, but like I said, probably today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, I'm gonna be getting all of that stuff done. The boys have their meet the coach night. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. The boys have their meet the coach night tomorrow at 6.30, I want to say. 6 or 6.30, they have meet the coaches night. So they're going to meet their soccer coaches. Ethan's soccer shoes still fit him from last year. I did go cheap last year on their shin guards. And they just ended up like tearing up their shins because they were so cheap and poorly made. So we did get them all new shin guards. This will be little Brian's first year playing soccer. Which we are super duper excited about. What is so let me go ahead and show you guys everything that they needed for soccer this year. Okay, so these are, Brian is, spoils Bryson. But because Bryson's our little athlete, we did invest in some, we got good shin guards for all of them, you guys. But Brian just wanted to treat Bryson and got him the Nike brand shin guards. And then these ones are King's shin guards right here. And then we have um, Brian and Ethan yeah so we have King I believe yeah King Brian Ethan Bryson Ethan needed a bigger ball this year he's up to a size four last year they had size three balls and then King Brian and Bryson needed new soccer cleats so I'll start by showing you guys Kings so King got Adidas they're actually gonna match his soccer shirt um, I did get them a size big so that way they can wear them next year also. So these are their soccer cleats. And I believe you can use soccer cleats for baseball as well, if I'm not mistaken. I believe. I, I was looking it up and I think you can use soccer cleats for baseball and soccer. And then we have these ones. These ones are Bryson's. They're, this, they're like the same ones that he had last year only all black last year he had all white and silver silver this year they're all black and they had all their cleats on sale when we went so that was a blessing and then we got little brian's right here and then ethan has his from last year which are like bright orange and yellow so those are little brian and then brian bryson and king all have their balls from well, Ethan's ball is going to go to little Brian um, since he needed a bigger ball. They're going to go. They'll use their size three balls for these next two years. So, so this year and next year, they'll need size three balls. King will need a size three ball for a while. But Brian and Bryson will need a ball. Or actually, I think Brian will need a size eight, size four ball next year as well. So... Yeah, so there's all of everything that they needed. We already have the size three balls from last year, so that's the only thing really that's getting reused. 
and then Ethan's shoes so if they still fit him. So yeah, but I'm about to go put my pieces in the little oven, get the boys lunch finished, and that's it.